Pure substances. Pure substances have characteristics different from the mixtures. They have fixed composition, whereas mixtures may contain components in any ratio and their composition are variable. Copper, silver, gold, water, glucose, etc. are some examples of pure substances. Glucose contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a fixed ratio and thus, like all other pure substances, this has a fixed composition. Also, the constituents of pure substances cannot be separated by simple physical methods. Pure substances can be further classified into elements and compounds. An element consists of only one type of particle. These particles may be atoms or molecules. Sodium, copper, silver, hydrogen, oxygen, and others are some examples of elements. They all contain atoms of one type. However, the atoms of different elements are different in nature. Some elements, such as sodium or copper, contain single atoms held together as their constituent particles, whereas in some others, two or more atoms combine to give molecules of the same element. Thus, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen gases consist of molecules in which two atoms combine to give their respective molecules. When two or more atoms of different elements combine, the molecule of a compound is obtained. Examples of some such compounds are water, ammonia, carbon dioxide, sugar, etc. Water molecules are comprised of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Similarly, a molecule of carbon dioxide contains two oxygen atoms combined with one carbon atom. Thus, the atoms of different elements are present in a compound in a fixed and definite ratio, and this ratio is a characteristic of a particular compound. Also, the properties of a compound are different from those of its constituent elements. For example, hydrogen and oxygen are gases, but the molecule they make up, water, is a liquid. It's interesting to know that hydrogen burns with a pop sound and oxygen is a supporter of combustion, but water is used as a fire extinguisher. Moreover, the of a compound cannot be separated into simpler substances by physical methods. They can be separated by chemical methods.